Hey everyone, this is Connors from Magload and this is the Nexus Pro. The purpose of today's video is I'm going to take you through the Nexus Pro from top to bottom, side to side, compare it with the old one and show you why it's now the best loader out there. First off, you are going to notice there are some visual differences. It's not just aesthetics at play here. The original Nexus was designed to be completely corrosion free because we live in the UK, we get snow, we get rain and we have a lot of mud. The new Nexus Pro is made out of different materials to the original Nexus. The original Nexus had a lot of stainless steel construction. The new Nexus Pro has almost no stainless steel in it at all, apart from the bolts and springs, and is instead made out of two different grades of aerospace aluminium. The aluminium is hard anodized with the runners having a DLC coating on there to keep them smooth and long lasting through all sorts of use. The biggest difference between the Nexus Pro and the original Nexus is the weight. I have some scales here, I'm going to weigh these and show you what the difference is. So the original Nexus 12 here, we're going to be using 12s for all these comparisons just because it's one of the most popular loaders. The Nexus 12 weighs 476 grams. The Nexus Pro 12 weighs a minuscule 266 grams. We've done quite a lot to shape the weight, so now I'm going to take you through the loader component by component and show you just how we've done that. So the first part of the loader we're going to look at is the biggest component, the back plate. Now aside from the colour differences, which is down to this one being made out of marine grade stainless steel and this one being made out of aerospace aluminium which has been hard anodised black, you're going to notice there's quite a few cutouts here. We've used generative design to remove all the unnecessary material and just leave the stuff in there that is required for strength. The next difference you're going to notice is the width. Top to bottom, they are the same size because the Nexus original was already the most compact loader out there. But what we have done is we've listened to user feedback and we've reduced the width of it dramatically. It is now barely wider than the cartridges you put in. You physically can't get any smaller than that. So the original Nexus 12 backplate at its widest point is 140.3 millimeters. And the Nexus Pro backplate at its widest point is 117 millimeters. That's over 20 millimeters of saving. That's bigger than a shotgun shell. So as well as the differences in materials, one of the things we've kept from the original backplate are the mounting options. It will still come with a piece of industrial Velcro in the box and an alcohol wipe, so you can apply that yourself if you choose to. However, we understand for a lot of people shooting three gun and disciplines other than IPSC, you may want to use a tech lock. So we've kept the same semicircular cutouts, which work so well on the Nexus 12, on the Nexus 12 Pro. The larger back plates have the diagonal cuts on them either side, so you will need two for anything sort of 20 size and up. The next component we're going to look at are the tops. Now this is one of the other visual differences you're going to see with the Nexus Pro having a larger magnet in it. We'll get into that in just a little bit. But some of the other differences you'll notice upon closer inspection is we have a small cutout which reduces weight from an unnecessary area of the component. And also the tops are a lot rounder. Now there's a very specific reason the Nexus was made with this shape in the top of the uh, caddy. And that is so you can feel it very deliberately when you go to grab a quad you can tell if your thumb is in the wrong position without looking at it. By rounding over these tops we've reduced snag risks when this is on one side or the other of the loader and we've also accentuated that sensation of your thumb so you can find that shell position as you go for the grab without having to look at it. Let's talk about magnets. Now the bigger magnet of course does increase tension, we, are using, we were using 5mm N52 magnets in the old loader which was by no means a weak magnet, it is still enough to hold a cartridge quite happily by itself, however when you start running, out it falls. One of the purposes of this large magnet, as well as increasing retention as users have asked for, is it will now hold a cartridge even while you're running. So for people who like to use just one cartridge for their load one shoot one technique, 
this is now going to serve that purpose for you. Onto the middles, and these are the heart of the Nexus system. This is the component that plays the biggest part in allowing you to change from left to right hand without having to buy any extra components. Now, it was already pretty highly optimized. You should see some of our prototypes with six screws in them, as opposed to the two on here. But there were some savings and gains to be made. One, we've removed the only unnecessary bit of material front and back of the bushing. And the other thing we've done is we've changed the tolerances to which we ream the inside bores of these. What this means is that the bars on the new Nexus Pro are slightly tighter fitting than the old ones, but slide even smoother, coupled with that DLC coating that's on the bars. Speaking of the bars, let's move on to those. The bars are another place where we've shaved a lot of weight. Now, these were originally marine grade stainless steel once again, however, with a different alloy to the back plate, which is much stiffer, much stronger, and heat treated, We've also put a DLC coating on there for wear resistance. The new Nexus Pro bars are a different color to the back plate. This is probably the only form over function choice that I've made is the color of these things because I think it looks wicked. So whilst we have changed the bars, one of the only components that has not changed from the original Nexus is our stainless steel spring. We spent a long time working on this and it gives super smooth operation, super reliable over a really long lifetime. So there was no reason to change it. It worked perfectly and it weighs nothing. Now the bases visually are very different to the original Nexus. We've done this for two reasons. We've made it bigger in the front here for more retention on the cartridge so that they're even less likely to buckle when you go prone. And we've also dropped the back of this here. One minor complaint we had with the original Nexus system is that you could only fit cartridges of a 51 millimeter unfired length in there. Now that's a pretty small cartridge, but some people like to use 50 millimeter unfired length cartridges. So we've made that possible with the new Nexus system. You don't need to buy any spacers or anything else to go with it. It just comes ready to rock with your super short cases. Now we've talked about each of these components and they all come together to create modules. And that's one of the main things about the Nexus system. It is completely modular. And we haven't changed that basic modularity from the Nexus to the Nexus Pro, which does mean that all of the components on the Nexus Pro are backwards compatible with the original Nexus. To that end, we will be selling metal work kits, which are the back plates and the bars should you wish to shed some weight from your original Nexus. However, if you want the full pro experience with all the extra weight savings, the larger magnets and the smoother operation, you do need to get yourself a new and upgraded Nexus Pro. The last thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is the adjustable retention and hand clearance. Now, we know with the original Nexus being so compact once it didn't have cartridges in it, some people did struggle to get their hands in there, and we have increased the size down here. Now, whilst it's shaped in such a way that your hand still comes in and glides smoothly over, if you need to adjust your hand clearance and retention, we'll get onto that, you can use the included spacers. Now, a Nexus 12 will come with six 10 millimeter spacers and six five millimeter spacers. If you wanted to increase your hand clearance, let's say by five millimeters, all you have to do is grab your five millimeter spacer and clip it onto the bar at the bottom there. As you can see, that base is now lower than all the others and you'd be surprised the difference that five millimeters makes. This does also increase the spring preload, but will not increase the retention of the cartridge once you've loaded it. Because once you've loaded it, there'll be the same amount of space there as there was before and it will be held at the same retention. However, if you'd like to increase the retention, you can do that by taking one of these spacers and popping it above one of the springs. So I'll just do that now. I'll pull this one down here and fit a 10 millimeter spacer. What this does is this gives the spring some extra compression and you can feel that difference straight away. So we've gone through all the individual components and all the small and large changes that we've made across the board. All this comes together to make a loader which is smaller, lighter, more adjustable, and more versatile than anything else on the market. And we feel that makes it the best loader in the world. I hope this has answered all of your questions about the difference between the Nexus Pro and the original Nexus. If you've still got more questions, head on over to the website. There's a lot more information on there, including the specific weights of each loader. And I do want to say, 
by popular demand, we have introduced a Nexus Pro 8. This thing is tiny, it's light, I absolutely love it. If you want to pick one up for yourself, head on over to maglo.co.uk, where currently all of the sizes of loader are available to pre-order. So if you want to secure yourself one on the launch date of May the 4th, be sure to head over and put your name down. This has been Connors with Maglode. Thank you for sticking with me. I hope to see you soon.